Welcome back to more Let's Play Earthbound. In the last part, I ended off by grinding a little bit, and from this grinding, I have realized the power of PSI singing Alpha. By the way, that's the Greek symbols Alpha. That's how they tell you how much power they have in the attack. Uh, I've got a lot of hamburgers. I'm gonna use those instead of using Life Up because there's a boss fight coming up, and I want to save my uh, PP for that. <laughs> Let's beat the heck out of these guys. Alright, bash attack them. Bash attack. Boink. Yeah, see, it seems to be that the Pogo Punks have the most HP, or at least the most um, defense. Defense! 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 Uh, that present was a hamburger. Hamburger. Another hamburger to replace the one I just used. See, like, they drop hamburgers all the time, and this guy's gonna come up and battle you. Yeah, you better just beat it. Obviously, this guy's Michael Jackson. And I killed him in one hit. <laughs> uh, this is seriously a joke. Okay. Hamburger! Jeez! I, I can't even hold any more items. <laughs> That's funny. If you say yes, he says, uh, come back after you've beaten Earthbound. <laughs> That's funny. Coink! You're dead. I don't know why I keep saying coink. I don't know. I just I'm just I'm just in a coinky kind of mood, you know. Coink. Get battle this guy. Um, whatever, buddy. Space balls. There's a pinball over there. Let's see what the machine is. <laughs> just like this guy. This guy's quite a piece of work. No, I can't. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, even though I, I'm the one who chose to attack you. Okay, not swinging. Came out swinging. I also should explain that I went back to this drugstore and I ouch. And um, wow, that was easy. And um, I bought a cheap bracelet. The cheap bracelet raises your defense by quite a bit for this early in the game, so you're gonna want to get that. It's ninety-eight dollars at the drugstore. Crap. Uh, this guy, uh, he's not too bad. Um, first of all, I'm gonna start off by eating a hamburger because that's nice. He's gonna generate a burst of steam. That means he's about to attack. So I'm gonna see if I can use a PSI singing elf on him. <laughs> and he threw a bunch. He has to uh, generate a boost burst of steam before he does an attack. And wow, that was easy. Holy crap! That was easy as pie, man. Yeah, you are just failure print. Seems to be quite a powerful spark. <laughs> quite a powerful spark. Okay. Purple, the mayor of Nonet, Wonette has the key. Adventure's just beginning. And if you talk to this guy again, uh, or rather, if you go outside, then go back, and then talk to him again, he'll heal you up. For free. Very, very nice. Get a free healing for that. So yeah, full health and everything. And this guy will come up to you and say, "Yeah." And as you can see, there's um stuff. I think that's uh, Mario Brothers. I think that's Space Invaders. And over here, I think it's sp I think Space Balls. You know, it'd be cool is if they had a little mini game that when you talk to this one, you can like play a pinball game. I don't know. Oh, and over here, I forgot to show. There's a little poster on the wall. It seems to say space. I don't know. The music in there is like sounds like telephones. Yep. See now the robot's no longer there because we beat the crap out of it. So, ha. Huh. Let's go ahead and save up at the hotel. Heal up. Usually people say heal up, but I say save up because that's what I'm doing. I'm saving. And I also probably should call my mom. Really? I'm in the middle of a big town. I don't know why it would sound like a. No, I'm good. I'm gonna keep going, Dad. Dad, if you don't quit the game after a while, then your dad's gonna call you in the middle of somewhere, and I don't even know what he calls you by, because in your inventory, there's nothing similar to a phone, really. But anyway, 
Now, let's, uh, go ahead and do some crap. Alright. What we have to do next is, remember how, um, Frank said that Mayor Perkle had the key? Well, we might want to go to City Hall. Dude, the, you're in the way of that car, man. Get out of the way so that car can go. Oh, whatever. Ah, he's gonna run away over here. Oh, See, that would have been pretty bad in the- Why did I go to the drugstore? Um, I don't know. East is the opposite of West. Thank you for that. Alright, and let's go inside the town hall. Town hall. Big important looking door over here. With this lady over here. Alright. Why is she waiting for me? I have no idea. Hey, look, a cop. You're welcome, you didn't do anything, you suck wads. <laughs> this is Mayor Perkle, he looks funny. Mayor B.H. Perkle, so nice to meet ya. You beat up the town boys, you punch them big guns, kick their butts, spit their heads off, and spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. You focus and promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. You want to keep the true ring entertainers for some Grady? Alright, however, if you can a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. No. Oh, okay, I guess I should. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see what would happen if you said all that crap, you know, with no thing. Yeah, no. Whatever, buddy. I know I'm a smart kid, thank you. Can I squeeze through the couch? Thank you. Thank you very much. Picture back there. Now that we have the key to the shack, we can go into our first dungeon. If you haven't noticed, Earthbound's at an angle. See how these sidewalks are going like this? Well, that's because this is actually what would be the equivalent of you walking straight down. But in this game, everything's kind of at an angle up to, until a certain point. So it's like the sidewalks, even though they should be straight towards you, they add a little bit of 3D-ness into it, and there's like... So everything is, they have a 3D kind of spreadish thing. Let's go this way. There's some stuff over here that we can check out, like this guy. I can practice my trumpets in the seam spot. I'll send my haunting melody through. Huh, that guy's nice. He's annoying the town with his haunting melody. That guy will sell you that house, which we'll probably do in the end of the game. Some funny dialogue over there. Now next, what you really want to do is you want to go up and to the left. To the left. Listen to that one, that music. Kill you up, uh, literally. He back attacked you, and when you are stronger than an opponent and you're gonna hit, kill it in one hit, and you get a back attack, you can kill it instantly. Sometimes this will happen with front attacks too, if you're faster than it and you you just have so much power. There's no way he can actually hurt you at all. Oh, you have to use the key. Do I still have the key? No, I don't. It, like, it stays in there. Alright, let's go into here. This is your first dungeon! The way to Giant Step. Biggest threats in this dungeon? The mice. They can get smash attacks often. But if they don't, uh, which they just did right there, they can be... Stop giving smash attacks. Seriously. There! Have a taste of smash attack of my own! <laughs> Suck my balls. Kiss my butt. Alright, new enemy. Whenever, usually when there's a new... Oh, wow. I attacked that guy from the front, too. Let's see if we can get all these three guys. Oh, crap. I got, I got back attacks. First time that's happened before. Yeah, these guys aren't too much of a threat. They just try PSI for a while, and it doesn't work. 
these guys give you quite a bit of experience. So if you want to grind up here too, then that would be a, that would that would be a good idea actually. Smack death. Because you can even back attack. It's it, you can even instant kill these guys from the front, like this. Yeah. Yep. No point going into the battle. Let's see if I can back attack this guy. No, I can't. Smell on crack, just like my buddy Lewis was saying. Up, oh, that ah. <laughs> smash! I love that he gives me a tiny smash deck. I give him a huge 76 damage smash deck. Uh, how are we on health? Uh, I think we're okay for a little bill. For a little bill. Uh, I guess I'll show everything. Let's go inside this cave over here. Or we're inside of a cave already, but oh, <laughs> it's just one of these. Smack. That's that's what I think it is when I when you go like that. It, I think you're just smacking him upside the head. Oh, we'll skip sandwich. That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and use that now. It it only it makes you go faster, but it doesn't heal that much HP. So let's eat that now. Yeah, it gives six HP, but allows you to run real fast. It puts a skip in your step, you know. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Now, I was hoping for a smash attack just to humiliate three rowdy mice, but. I'll eat a hamburger now. I have to get rid of all these hamburgers too, because that's one thing that is a problem in this game. Yep. I got back attacked? What the heck? Whatever, it's just two attack the slugs. They're just gonna like edge closer and attack for one damage. Slice. I mean, bash with a. I'm hitting these slugs with a bat. I don't know why I care so much. It's like. You know, it's like. Just leave him be, man. Come down. Oh, uh, 12 HP. That is really nice. Again, that was the vitality right there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Rowdy mice. Rowdy mouse. Oh, uh, smash attack. You make me sick with your dang smash attacks. And there is a really good grinding spot in this dungeon where you can go outside of a place and you will infinitely get a magic butterfly which will heal your PP, meaning that you can pretty much infinitely use Life of Alpha. Man, it's got a cookie. I'm just going to use that right out now. Cookie. Oh, nothing in here. That was a useless part of the dungeon. Let's go up here. The up is a good direction. Doesn't seem to be anything. It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh. <laughs> so much for being too quiet. Smack. Instead of getting a smash attack, we're giving a smack attack. Seriously, with the cookies. Stop it. Okay. Uh, I believe this is the way to go, but there's something up there. Oh no, there's two more in here. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Ow. Dude, if you guys don't stop getting smash attacks, I swear, I'll beat the crap out of you with my T-ball bat. They'll either miss, get a regular attack, or get all smash attacks. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this item. Cold remedy. Let's keep that and use the hamburg. Yeah. What? Oh, that didn't heal that much. Whatever. It's okay, it's probably just under maxing out my HP. These, uh, black antoys, they can be a little bit annoying. They don't have too much HP, though. They can dish out the damage, but they can't really take it too well. They can also call for help, which gets annoying. But it's okay. I think we're handling this quite well. Except for the fact that he just did 11 damage, it makes me sad. Stop doing that. Dude, I swear. He used Life Up Alpha, and then I killed him. That was absolutely pointless. Alrighty then, let's go up this thing. Instant kill, smack. Usually the attack slugs come in groups. I don't know why they're not doing that this time. Yeah, seriously, I don't know why they're not doing that. It's weird. Oh, the black antoids, no wonder. They're like, I want to go alone. Call for help. <laughs> Curse you. I swear, that guy's gonna call for help. Oh, never mind. Let's see, if that guy calls for help, I'm gonna go for a frozen, 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 frozen. 
Kooky. Kooky. Ah, this guy. Smack. Yeah, the tiny enemies aren't too hard. At all. If you even manage to get an attack on him there. And here's the place where the magic butterfly, if you walk through this door and come out again, the magic butterfly will almost always be here, so I'm just gonna heal up. HP and then get my PP right back. Alright, just a bunch of these guys. Easy peasy. I think there's something down there. I forget. I can just smack right through all of these guys. Smack that slug. Smack that ant. Screw the destruction of life. Cookie. Let's get rid of these cookies, man. I'll use them once I get hurt a little bit or something. Smack. There's nothing down here, I can just get some back attacks and kill these guys. That was both a back attack and a front. Oh, level 10. Healing Alpha! That must have been what I was looking at. Crack. Shot. How dare you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Never mind. Let's go ahead and meet the boss. Let's meet the parents. I don't know. Meet the parents. I haven't even watched them. I haven't watched like too many movies. I feel like I'm Chuck Conroy over here who hasn't even watched Back to the Future. Everybody keeps telling me to watch that movie. I've never watched it. Nap uh, Cookie. Yeah, Max HP is very nice. Especially when all you used was a cookie or two. I like cookies. Cookies are delicious. And here's your first, um, sanctuary boss. Hope I remember how to beat this guy. <laughs> I used, I had a lot of trouble with this guy on my first way through because, you know, this is my first real bo boss fight. So I guess, oh wait, we're at 17 minutes. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I'll just stop the episode here. So I'll see you next time on Earthbound when we get back to this. Wow, I suck. Alright, um, so see you next time. Goodbye.